This is the four fingering groups for 12 major scales and singing along to 15 major scale series. Lesson 8, 9 finger fingering, F major scale. Lesson 1 introduced the four fingering groups. Lesson 2 presents the single sound system for all musical accidental notes. Lesson 3 used the C major scale to illustrate the five characteristics of the common fingering. Lessons 4, 5, 6, and 7 utilize the common fingering characteristics in D, E, G, and A major scales. On the circle of fifths, considering C as 12 o'clock, these major scales are at 1 to 4 o'clock positions. In this lesson 8, we'll go back to the C major position, then counterclockwisely to 11 o'clock and learn the F major scale. We also would experience the charming single sound system, of course. Same procedures as before, I will play 1, 2, and 4 octaves. The ascending F major scale is F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. There is one flat note, B flat. In lesson 2, we learned that all flat notes rhyme with an, so B flat is ban. The single note names of F majors are F, G, A, Ban, C, D, E, and F. Its left hand still uses common fingering, something we are very familiar with already. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. However, its right hand is different. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. In other words, the right hand doesn't use finger 5 anymore. Both hands together use 9 fingers to play, so 9 finger fingering. The descending F major scale is F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, and F. The single sound solfege is F, E, D, C, Ban, A, G, F. Left hand is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right hand is 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's play on the piano. Left hand first. Ascending F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Descending F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F. Fingering 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Descending 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Solfage. F, G, A, B, C, D, F. Descending. Left hand still obeys all the common fingering rules. All root notes are played by the thumb or the pinky. All third and sixth notes are played by the middle finger. Ascending and descending are mirror images. For the same notes, you play ascending and descending with the same fingers. Right hand, of course, plays the same notes only at higher pitches. It still uses the thumb under or finger 2, 3, or 4 over. However, the overall fingering is quite different. Ascending F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Descending F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F. Fingering 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Descending 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. You may have already noticed this. Rules 1, 4, and 5 are still good, but rules 2 and 3 are not anymore. Let's look at right hand playing again. Ascending. The first, second, and third notes are played by fingers 1, 2, and 3 respectively. If common fingering, the fourth note would be played by finger 1 again. However, the fourth note is B flat, a black key, and it countersigns to use the thumb, which is close to the wrist. No matter you let thumbs cross under or over to play a black key far away. It is much easier to use finger 4 to play B flat, delaying thumb under to the next Y key, C note. 
Therefore, we use fingers one, two, three, and four twice without using finger five. This leads us to another rule: don't let thumb under or over other fingers to play a black key. This rule is applicable to common fingering too, but there is no need to bring it up until now. When descending, B flat is the fifth note after the thumb playing note C. Letting finger four cross over thumb to play a white key or a black key. It's okay. It's rule one. Common. Selfage. F G A B C D E F. Descending. F U D C B A G F. Both hands. F G A B C D E F U D C B A G F. Most the sound are natural notes except one. This sound rhyme with N is a flat note. You know it's F scale. I truly love this new solfege system. Not only it makes singing along easy, but it maintains one-to-one -one relationship within an octave among the singing sound, the staff notes, the pitches, and the piano keys. So this new single sound solfege works like the fixed do solfege. In addition, it uses different sounds from the movable do system, so there's no confusion. It significantly simplifies teaching, learning, communication, or playing in a group. Therefore, I truly love this new solfege system and strongly recommend it as a replacement to the fixed do system. Now let's play two octaves. As before, I made fingering charts and provided it to you as a free gift so that we can learn, practice, and make progress together. The fingering chart uses the same symbols and colors as in lesson three. Hope you're familiar with them already. It's time to play three and four octaves, expanding the two octave fingering further up and down. This is an F major skill. Congratulations, you have learned six out of twelve major skills. More importantly, with this nine finger fingering skill you have just learned, it's a natural transition to black key fingering in the next lesson, where we'll learn B major and C flat major skills, a pair of inharmonic major skills. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.